we are covering all the angles of the election like no other in our history and what will be critical to determining the outcome, including possible legal maneuvering by the campaigns. ABC's Mary Bruce has the latest. This morning, the White House hanging in the balance with the race in several key battleground states still too close to call. But even though millions of votes still need to be counted, President Trump falsely claiming he won and telling the country he'll call on the Supreme Court to end the election. Experts say that would be an illegitimate move. We were getting ready to win this election. Frankly, we did win this election. We did win this election. We'll be going to the U.S. Supreme Court. We want all voting to stop. We don't want them to find any ballots at 4 o'clock in the morning and add them to the list, okay? The president has no power to stop legitimately cast votes from being counted, and there have been no signs of any foul play. The Biden campaign calling the president's remarks a naked effort to take away the democratic rights of American citizens. Trump did have a better night than expected, outperforming the polls once again and pulling in new voters. He's now projected to pick up Ohio, Texas and Florida, critical wins keeping his reelection hopes alive. But he's still far from the finish line. And Joe Biden also has a clear path to victory, holding on to blue states Trump tried to flip, like Minnesota, and with a substantial lead in Arizona, a state that went red in 2016. <laughs> Speaking to supporters after midnight at a drive-in rally in Delaware, Biden urging patience and projecting confidence without declaring victory. I'm here to tell you tonight, we believe we're on track to win this election. It ain't over till every vote is counted, every ballot is counted. Because of the surge in mail-in voting due to the pandemic, we've known for months that in many states it could take days to tally all of the ballots. 